Good morning, everyone. How are you? I'm Pastor Jim of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the daily devotional with this little book, The Upper Room. I hope this devotional helps you for your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ. Today is November 17th, 2020, Tuesday. The title of today's devotional is Humility. And the scripture is from Philippians chapter 2, verses 3 through 11. Do not think from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility regard others as better than yourself. Let each of you look not to your own interests, but to the interests of others. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness, and being found in human form. He humbled himself and became obedient to the point to of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue, every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Another scripture is Proverbs 21.4 Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the unplowed field of the wicked, produce sin. Today's story is from John who lives in Minnesota. One of my joys in retirement has been finding more time to read the Bible. I have been amazed by how many verses and stories pertain to humility. They have prompt, prompted me to reflect on how often my ego comes into play and manifests itself in negative ways. Pride had plagued plagued humanity since the beginning, and our culture constantly bombards us with messages that speak to gratifying our desire through possessions, appearance, or status. What a contrast it is to reflect on the life of our Lord and Savior. Though his coming was heralded for centuries, Jesus' arrival, Jesus' arrival was humble, in a stable, and surrounded, surrounded by animals. Everything Jesus did during his time on earth reflect, reflected humi hum humility including his choice of the disciples and people he associated with. His humility continued to the very end of his life on earth, when he submitted to the will of God, was arrested and tried as a criminal, and suffered torture and torture and death on a cross. Jesus' humble life provides a model for us to follow. Christ the King came not to be served, but to serve. We can embrace that attitude and strive to do the same. 
Yep. People would like to be high. People would like to be served by others. That is maybe our nature. As he mentioned, pride has plagued human humanity since the beginning. But we know how Jesus lived. We know how Jesus taught us. We know what's the word of God. God said, everything is in God's hands. Every power and authority is in God's hands. Whatever we are using, whatever we are, we are having, whatever we are, wherever we are, it is not only by our, our own, but God's work and God's desire and God's grace and mercy. I like the word of grace because it explains everything. God gives us His grace and that is wonderful to all of us. Our life, our ability, our all things are from God so we should be not boast with whatever we have. Because without God's grace, we cannot live because of because without God's grace we can do we can do nothing i hope we remember the life of jesus our savior who humbly who humbled himself before god and followed god's will until to the death I mean, to the death of the cross, on the cross. People of God, let us be humble like Jesus. Let us serve one another like Jesus served us. Let us think of, of others' interest instead of our interests. This is the teaching of Jesus and the word, uh, will of God for us as God's children and disciples of Jesus Christ. So, let's do that. Let's do, uh, let's be humble. You can have the pride only for you are the children of God. You are saved by God. You are protected by God. You are loved by God. And please remember, everything is God's grace. Without grace, we are nothing. Without God's love, we are nothing. I hope all of us remember this truth in our heart and then live with that truth in our lives. Let me read the prayer John wrote here, and then I will add my prayer. Let us pray. Dear Lord, when our pride and ego rise up, help us remember to model our lives after the humble example of Christ. Lord, we misunderstand ourselves and our possessions and our positions. We thought, we sometimes think that everything we have, everything we have is what the result of what we have done. But it is not the one who gave us life, the one who gave us the ability and skills the one who gives us the time and energy is God. So we confess and profess that everything is from God and we are your stewards. Every credit should go to you, not us. Please let us be humble before you and before the people and let us live with that heart in our lives. Lord, 
Please remember your people who are suffering from the loss of their family members. Those who suffering from illness and who are in recovery from illness, who have finance issues and other issues, kinds of relationship issues or spiritual issues, faith issues. Lord, please be with us and help us and let us have your healing, your direction, your mercy, your grace, and your love. Let us have your Holy Spirit all the time who leads us into the right way. Lord, we are yours. Please provide the daily bread, daily strength, daily wisdom, and daily directions for each day. As you provide it, the Israelites, manna, manna, and quails. Lord, please be with us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. I hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow morning uh, for this devotional. Uh, for this devotional. Enjoy your day and don't forget everything is from God. Everything is God's grace. So let us be humble. Thank you. Bye-bye.